Uh, well, she was stunning. <laughs> uh, we call it Hawe Tan. I was really upset and I was really scared. <laughs> uh, well, I first started playing piano uh, when I was five. Yeah, I, I still remember because the piano was absolutely like the toy to me. Sound when you play. So yeah, I really loved it at the time. I wrote a song without any title. <laughs> Uh, when I was nine, and I still remember, it's it's, it's a bit like Bach, <laughs> J.S. Bach work. Um, very simple, just stepping down chords and uh, very corny melody on top of it. <laughs> and I still remember it. I think I was ten. I went to Singapore because my father was working in Singapore at the time, so he invited me there. Every place that I went was so clean and uh, I was really shocked by that you are not allowed to chew a gum but anyway I had a wonderful time there. Uh, his name is Mark Winter and uh, yeah I, I met him when I was studying at the Purcell School when I first went to London. Um, he's a flute player and uh, he's actually my first English te teacher in fact. <laughs> yes. Oh. Mark, <laughs> hope you're well. Yes, I know you're getting married very soon, so congratulations. And uh, I miss you a lot. We should meet up again in London. So I'm looking forward to that. Oh, uh, I did art for my A-level before I went to the college. So as a part of project that I was doing, I had to research about Korean masks. Uh, we call it Hawhe. So I had to travel by myself alone to Korea and went to the area called Hawhe to research about these masks. So I went to the, uh, one of the university who studies about the traditional masks and traditional stuff. And I just went there and uh, I met this student and uh, I was like struggling on the corridor, you know, I didn't know what to do and he actually came to me and uh, do you need help and I said yeah I really need help I need to do this and do that and uh, he actually helped me he eventually uh, let me to stay in his house even though we just met um, so I still remember him well first audition that I had was NBC children's choir and uh, I had to audition this and I was really scared of course and uh, my mother bought me this new kind of uh, clothes for the audition and I had to wear all denim <laughs> top and bottom I still remember I didn't want to wear that you know and my mother said hey you have to look good and clean and neat you have to wear this so I, I wore them and uh, yeah I got the place I think because of that clothes I think <laughs> the, uh, the name Parcel School of Music it was situ situated in uh, northern London. If you imagine the Korean school, there are like thousands of students in the school. But the school I went, the Purcell school was very, very small. It's about 100 students also. So I was really surprised by the capacity. Every student can play like more than two instruments. And uh, me, I only could play piano. So I auditioned singing also. I was good at singing at the time, but now I don't think. Every week there was a lunchtime concert. You have to get experiences, you know, you know how to cope with the stage. I think I had to play Mendelssohn's Song Without Words, one of the, the, the songs from that. And uh, I just forgot everything. I had to memorize it, of course. Everything went just black. And uh, while I was playing, I had to make up something, you know. I was, I was like crying because I was really, I was really upset and I was really scared also because my teachers are also watching me. So I still remember the time and uh, <laughs> I, I came down the stage and uh, yeah, I hugged my teacher and my teacher said, I don't think you are suitable enough to play on the stage. So I don't think you're a good performer. So Iruma, think something else, you know. <laughs> and she really, she really helped me a lot about telling me the truth, <laughs> that I'm not a good performer, yes. 
Amadeus. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I was very little. I don't know whether I was uh, suitable enough to watch that film. It was really shocking. The colors, the screen colors are very dark. The film Amadeus, that was the most uh, shocking, most remembered film I ever watched. So I still love that film, Amadeus. Yeah, K-pop. Um, Shin Sung Hoon. <laughs> I love all these ballad songs. Even though they are singing in Korean, it feels like they're singing in English and it's very, very um, stylish music. Uh, well, my first music has been used in one of the Korean drama series called Winter Sonata. didn't write for the drama series, but I wrote it for my album. But the director of the drama series, he actually wanted to use my track. Uh, it's called When the Love Falls. I renamed it. The original song is called Get to a Grand Mama. I really loved it. The melody was so sentimental. So I thought, oh, I should play this and just made it with a piano. That can be the first original soundtrack that I've been involved as in an original writer for the original score. Oh, that's also that I feel all the time. <laughs> Last night, yeah, I felt that too. Every time I write music, if, I, if it doesn't go well, I uh, didn't want to do anything, just go home and sleep. That's what I do. I never had a pet because my mother can't cope with them. Uh, but yeah, I, I love dogs also, yes, I love cats. A new family, yes, if I have a chance. When I get older, yes. Ah, yes. Uh, after my graduation of university, I wanted to get away from my parents. <laughs> because, because I've been uh, in the boarding school for entire of my teenager. And after that, I went to the uni. I have to commute from my parents' home to the university college. And I, I thought, oh, I, should, I should go somewhere else, you know, I should. I should be separate from them. Well, I came back to Seoul. Uh, I had to write music for the place, Korean place. So that's the first time I wanted to get away from my parents, yes. <laughs> uh, well, she was stunning. <laughs> so I met her on my birthday. That is a surprise, yes. She actually bought me this cake, I remember. I was late on our first meeting. Because I was, I was actually, I was recording this Spring Waltz OST at the time, and I had to travel uh, from the edge of Seoul, the western part, and I had to come all the way back to Gangnam. Yes, she said that all the time. She mentions it all the time. You are one hour late, you know. <laughs> I know, you know. <laughs> Don't mention that again. But yeah, eventually, yeah. We got married, yes. The first time w when I saw my daughter, she was me. <laughs> yes, there is no doubt about it. It was really a strange feeling that you get. Ah, yes. Before I graduated my high school, uh, well, Purcell School, there was the audition of uh, selecting one of the school students' works to be included in the school I don't know, school album. And it was funded by the British Reserve and uh, recorded by Decca. Really wanted to, you know, get this place, you know. So I wrote a string quartet piece called Kalmeki, which means seagull, basically in Korean. So it's a kind of children's song. And I rearranged it into a string quartet. It's kind of uh, minimalistic. So I was really honored that Decca has been recorded, had recorded this music at the time. I, I feel really quite um, honored because Decca is under Universal and I'm with Universal right now. It's kind of coincidence, you know, like all those time that I spent long ago and now it's kind of connects all together. You never know what this moment will connect with another in the future. So I'm very curious. And the music I'm writing right now, you never know what would connect with someone, you know. And uh, yeah, 
So what I write right now and what I live right now, I have to do it like hell. You know? I have to keep digging. That's what I want to do. Uh, is the new album, yes. I'll be releasing few albums. One with the orchestra and ensemble, one with the piano solo, and I don't know the other one, but <laughs> I'm preparing for this whole new rearrangement of my old tracks, old recording. And also the concerts also. Yeah, I miss a lot of concerts. I miss audiences. I want to perform in front of the people, not the uh, online concert and all that. So I miss all the people cheering and all that, yes. <laughs>